Yo, what's going on, guys? Nashter here, and every so often, a new hockey game comes onto the scene. This one is weirder and crazier than ever. It is called Puck Buddies. I don't know how to describe this game, but essentially, it is Fall Guys meets hockey. You mash them together, and you have this beautiful creation. I have not even hopped into a game yet. I wanted to save it for this video, so this is going to be my first look at this brand new game. Wish me luck. Here we are. Adjective Animal are the creators and there is our logo puck buddies with the two little yo oh that's fire all right so as you load into the game you get the scoreboard zoom out and now you can kind of get a feel for what this game is all about right it's weird characters crazy animals even crazier ice rinks it is going to be madness today. We hit play and we have a couple different options. 2v2, 3v3, 4v4, and four teams. We're going to keep it nice and simple with the 2v2. And yo, look at these characters. Yo, these are actually fire. So we have a frog on top of a ladybug. We have a birdhouse, zebra, giraffe. You got some futuristic guy back here. The art design in this game is pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. I got to go with my boy, Zebro, the zebra. We are taking on some futuristic frog and an elephant today in a little 2v2. Okay. Now we have our map selection. So you have a classic ice rink called Top Shelf. This one's kind of built into a corner. We have one that's on water, the captain's log. Sinbin looks like it is in a jail cell with laser beams. A pool party with different bumpers and mad pad with different... Yo, this is sick. For game number one, we're going to to keep it nice and simple we'll go top shelf here are our characters it looks like we're going to do a quick three minute game no goalies in net overtime if needed let's hop in to game number one. Oh my yo the art is out of this game is actually fire so we are going over and scoring on that blue net i don't know any of the controls so far it's kind of feeling a lot like nhl 94 pretty basic looks like it's gonna be Yo, that's a face off. Okay, I see how. What a block from Zebro. Let's go, baby. We're going to fire this right into the net. And there we have it. Our first goal of our Puck Buddies career. Okay, so it looks like Y is going to be like a stick swipe. You can kind of do some spin moves. So we are dangling a little bit. We got absolutely body, but we take it back. And here comes Zebro. Zebro misses the net. Oh! Oh, the double pipe from the frog or the alligator, whatever that is. But Zebro grabs it back. Dude, you know what I'm noticing? These AIs literally do not miss. Look at the replays. Oh, in the top corner, there is a replay of what just happened. Let's see if we can just, we can just walk it into the net. Okay, if you don't want to shoot and have potential of missing it, you can just walk it straight. Holy, what even is the score right now, dude? It's like four. All right, in the top left, top right, you can see the score. It is five to two with two minutes remaining. Okay, it's, it's time to start getting a little bit sweaty here. I'm not gonna lie, the hippo on my team is absolutely throwing. I'm throwing a little bit as well. So X on the controller is gonna be a bit of a dash. Y is how you steal the puck, so it just kind of poke checks it away from them. And then X is shoot, A is pretty basic. B allows you to jump in the air. I don't know why you would ever jump in the air, but you at least have the option. Their AI is absolutely nasty. Literally cranks everything right on net. Our hippo just fires it six feet wide whenever he has the opportunity. Oh my gosh, here's literally eight to two. Can you like change the difficulty of the AI? Or are we just like stuck on this? Okay, I'm getting sweaty, boys. I'm just gonna start. I swear that hippo just literally. Oh my gosh. A double post and it goes into the and then hippo hit the double post oh my gosh dude this game is insane all right hey nine two we start walking these in right we just tap them into the net maybe we'll toss the goalies on for the next one so we have a bit more of a challenge we can actually get some saves here comes zebro just toss it in there four nine give me this draw nice hit from hippo go baby go in dude zebro is absolutely putting in work right now we steal that puck we fire Okay, my uh, initial thoughts, you don't want to shoot the puck ever. Because every time I'm shooting this puck, it's going literally off the pipe no matter what. Look at this comeback from Zebro and Hippo. We are on another level. Boys, it's too easy. Zebro is literally a tank of all tanks. Look at this. Sit right in the middle. Grab it. Just stuff it in the net. Bang. We now have an 8-9 game. Zebro doing work on the face-offs. And hippo bearing as well. Okay, we have brought this game back within reach. It is now nine to nine. The robotic alligator is on another level. Dude, this game's so tough, boys. So it looks like 
Oh my gosh, hippo, go! Let's go, hippo! What a berry! 10 10, here we go. Get that draw fire. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, boys, you literally cannot shoot the puck. I'm gonna try to pass this over to Hippo. I want him to do work behind the net. Go, Hippo. Go, baby. I'm playing goalie. Okay, Zebro playing a little tendy. And he gets barrel stuffed by the electronic alligator, dude. Yep, big save. Let's go. 20 seconds. Zebro, break. We stuffed that in. Okay, 11 11. This could very well be a next goal win situation here in our first game of Puck Buddies. Here comes. No, no, no. 13 seconds. Oh! Yep. I'm dangling. Nine. Rip it. Let's go, Zebro. Eight seconds on the clock. All we have to do is knock it. No, no, no. 12 seconds. It's tie game. No, no, no. Oh, Zebro. Zebro. Go. Oh, Zebro. Oh, Zebro. He's done it. One second on the clock. And we catch our first ever W. Zebro has absolutely carried the hippo to a victory. I have no idea what I just witnessed, dude. Uh, I don't think it's supposed to be a 13-12 game. I, I think we probably should have put the tendies on for game number one. But, uh, hey, there's a lot of action. We got 10 goals. He only got three of them. He did get two apples, though. Hippo kind of let me down. Kind of let me down a little bit. Dude, I wasn't expecting to get this fired up today playing a little puck buddies, but here we are. So for game number two, which one do we know? I think this log one looks really interesting. All right, for game number two, we got some new characters in the mix. I tossed on goalies. The spinny logs and the goalies combined might make this a little bit too crazy, but let's see what happens here, man. That animation is sick, by the way. Oh, okay. The water is frozen. So we are on a boat that appears to be sinking. We have a bright yellow puck, a little gold balloon or something. We also have tendies in net as well. So this is where that jumping is going to come into effect because I have the ability to jump over the logs if I want to get back real quick. All right, the goalies are going to make this a lot more interesting for sure. First things first, we got to get this puck. Yep. So yes, I can come back. You can see you can kind of get back on the back check by jumping over. And we are going to have to actually shoot the puck now. We cannot just barrel stuff it like we were last game. Holy, is that a floating... Do you guys see that floating sheep? It is underneath the water, probably dying as we speak. What is that sheep doing there? Dude, this game's, this game's kind of fire, boys. I'm not going to lie. I didn't know what to expect going into this thing. All right, yo, I'm going to jump over the log. Bang, we get back on that. Yes, sir. Get off me, Hippo. Wait, dude, Hippo leaves our team and has the audacity to body me like that. And there is Zebro with his first goal on the pirate ship. What a finish it was. We've got Pigeon on our team doing work as well. Zebro dangles around one. They do jump over. Off the pipe. Yeah, it's kind of a huge advantage that you can just jump over on the back check. So they get stuck, but then I get in front of the net. See that? So then we're just stuck there. Hey, good finish there, Allie. Good finish. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what these characters are. We got, like, some robotic pigeon. We got, the, uh, you know, Zebro, obviously, we know is iconic. Our attendee is literally lost in outer space, dude. Go ahead, pigeon. Go ahead, baby. Pigeon's kind of doing work. As long as that goalie hugs the post, though, we're gonna struggle. Unless we get, like, wide open. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna jump over the log and just get to the front of the net and be, like, a secondary tendy. Here we go. Zebro doing wheels. Pigeon, I'm gonna need you to play a little bit of defense here. Oh my gosh, dude. Their tendy is elite. I've had like six good shots. All right. Our tendy is actually kind of putting in work here too. You kind of just have to, on this map, like you can't get to the middle as well. You kind of just have to bump the goalie out of the way until you have space. Here comes Pigeon. Pigeon with a beautiful pass. Finds me. And another big save on Zebra. Yep. Dang. Let's go, Zebra. What a shot. Okay, we only have 45 seconds on the clock. Fireworks are going off middle ice. Pidgey is there go Pidgey the only thing that I wish we had is more dangles I feel like you pretty much are kind of limited to this spin move like you can kind of sit in space and spin big save there from uh Tyrannosaurus Rex dude here comes alligator alligator with the shot at the post give me a bounce yep no 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 no, no. 20 seconds oh, oh what a save yep here comes zero on the rush zero no Pidgey we need a berry here 10 seconds on the clock. Could we have our first ever overtime? Another good shot. Four seconds. Three. No shots. We're just going to rag this. And we are going to our first ever overtime. So the puck does reset. We're going to sit right in the middle here. And here comes Zebro on the rush. Zebro. Oh, what a save from Hippo, dude. Hippo the traitor. Yep. Zebro with the back check of the year. We're going to pop this over. Go in front. 
And there is Zebro the Legend. We don't miss those. We have now gone 2 0 in our Puck Buddies career. Zebro and Pidgey out here carrying this team. And we now are moving on to one last rink. Which one are we feeling? I'm gonna go back to the main menu. I wonder how you unlock these other ones because these actually sound sick. We got Pidgey Puddle, Saucer Pass, Frosty Frolics. They might actually have some dope maps in here. After looking through the menus, it is worth noting this game is in early access. So literally, I think this thing just came out like a couple weeks ago. They're still going to be updating this game and hopefully adding new things. So I think that's what these new maps are. As new maps and different things come out, they will update the game and we'll have some more options. But for now, we do have five solid maps to choose from for our third and final game today. I think we're going to go with the... Let's go with Mad Pad. I feel like it's going to be really bouncy and crazy. If you want to see another episode of Puck Buddies, maybe when some more maps come out, let me know in the comment section down below. Let's hop into our final game here with Zebro, and it looks like we have the Electric Alligator on our team now. Oh my, dude. The artwork in this game is just absolutely sick. So we have these pads that are rotating everywhere. We also have the screen, so a live scoreboard in the bottom where you can see what's going down. We also have the electric scores in the top left. Zebro shoots it a little bit wide. Here comes Giraffe. Giraffe to Stack of Tires. Who is this guy? The new guy on the scene, Stack of Tires. And it looks like we are going to have some room to kind of just jump the puck and fire it right into the net. So Giraffe just went on an absolute tear. I'm gonna try to get in the middle of these circles, right through the middle. And I absolutely choked it. We should have just fired that into the net. So yeah, if you shoot the puck, it is gonna bounce around off these pads quite a bit, right to Giraffe. Let's see what happens if we just fire this full power. Bang, you get a couple bounces, okay. Ideally, we wanna kinda carry it right through the middle and hope for the best, but obviously. All right, stack of tires. We thought he was gonna be kind of the X Factor today. Instead, how do you do that big clap, dude? That thing was so fast. Here's Giraffe. Giraffe is putting in work at the other end, but here comes Electric Alligator. What a pass from Electro. We're going to balk right through the middle. Stack of tires is just sitting in one place guarding the net. We literally have four goalies, including Electro, that we have to get through. What a save. These characters are absolutely legendary, dude. How do they come up with this? Like, why is there a stack of tires, a Giraffe, Zebro and an electric alligator in the same game. The world may never know. All right, we got to get something going here, boys. It's literally been two. Electro! This guy just jammed him in there! What a finish from Electro Alligator! And Zebro with the snipe of the year as well! All right, hey, one more goal, and this game is pretty much over. We got Electro Alligator and Zebro. Here comes Zebro just taking it in himself, dude. What a finish. All right, 57 seconds. We do have a 4-1 to one lead. We are bouncing off these pads like nothing. There's fireworks flying everywhere, and here comes Electro Alligator. Electro with a... Oh my gosh, dude. Electro Alligator with the nastiest pass of the year to himself. Opts not to shoot it, but you know who will shoot it? Zebro. Another big finish. 40 seconds on the clock. You can see in the bottom, they do have a beautiful looking replay that happens as well. 33 seconds to go. Can we bury one more? Dude, I don't know what it is, but in that first game, the AI were absolutely disgusting. And when you start to add in like the pads and the goalies, the AI start to really just lose focus. Now, we are playing good hockey. We've started to figure this game out. I may be very well the number one ranked Puck Buddies player in all of the United States, potentially the world. You know, you gave me a couple more weeks at this thing, and I think we'll be number one. Two, one, and a final score of five to one. We have absolutely dominated the Puck Buddy scene. Zebro, myself, is on another level. So there it is, our first look at this new hockey game called Puck Buddies. I didn't know what to expect going into this thing. And I gotta say, I'm kind of impressed. Obviously, this game is what it is, right? It's trying to be weird. It's trying to be crazy. I respect them going out and trying something new. With hockey, we kind of have the same thing year after year. With the NHL series, we know what we're getting ourselves into. With Puck Buddies, though, I don't even know what I'm getting myself into from map to map. So let's go to the credits here. Let's see how many people actually made this game. And 
one, two, three, four. There's about five total people that have uh, contributed to this game. And honestly, man, like I said, big ups to them. I think this game plays pretty well. The gameplay is pretty simple to pick up, but I feel like it could get competitive if we actually got some friends online and did a little 2v2. The one thing that I will say is I would love some more creativity. Like you have all those characters, so maybe having like different power-ups available for each of the different characters different dangles different shots stuff like that but all in all the simplicity the creativity this game is looking pretty promising if you guys do want to see some more puck buddies gameplay and check out the rest of the maps make sure you leave a comment down below if you want the chance to download this game i'll put a link in the description below as well they're not paying me to say this i just want to support these smaller companies that are trying to branch out and trying to make hockey games so go and download this if you want to try it out for yourself that'll do it for today i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit the video with a like of course hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 1 million subscribers that's it for this one see you guys next time and peace yeah.